Most people think that stitching an invisible zipper is pretty complicated, but I think it can be simple. We have this fabric and we are going to put this invisible zipper in between it. This is what it looks like. We zip it down and zip it back up. The first thing we're going to do is to serge both of these ends. Bam and bam. With these two pieces like this, I'm gonna add my invisible zipper. And to put in an invisible zipper, the method is almost similar to how you'd put in a regular zipper. You'd start by putting the right side of the zipper tape on top of the right side of this fabric here. You're gonna put this side here. I'm gonna just bring this down a little and I'm putting pins from top to bottom. Now once this is done, I'm going to have to go over here. But for the invisible zipper, I like to stitch one side first. And once that one side is complete, then I can start on the other side. The first thing I want to do is to pull my zipper down so it's not in the way. And then I'm going to put my needle into the first part of the zipper. But if you notice, you're able to actually bring this part back. I'm gonna hold on to it while I'm sewing. I'm rolling the zipper away from the actual needle. I'm stitching as close as possible to the teeth of the zipper. You have to have your zipper pull down the whole time while you stitch this. That's the only way you're gonna be able to roll the teeth out of the way like this. My stitches here are literally below the zipper teeth because I rolled it away. But then, when I brought my zipper pull up and I tried to stitch down here, it wouldn't get close enough. So you can see that my stitches ended up here instead of in there where I really want it to be. But I'm gonna show you how I would handle something like this. So I'd bring my zipper down again and I'm going to stitch to as far as I can in there. I'm gonna put a clip into the fabric here. Now I'm gonna match up the other piece of fabric, right sides together, and I'm going to clip my fabric there as well. Now it's time to move on to the other side. I'm gonna turn this over like so. Just to get it out of the way, I'm going to put some pins. Then I'm going to bring it over to this side. And I want to make sure that the top of my fabric lines up just like that. So I'm just going to put this here like this. I'm going to open my zipper. I'm going to be stitching from here where the slit in the fabric is coming up and I'm going to roll my zipper teeth to that side. We're going to be stitching in this area. If you look, you'll notice that my stitches are very close to the inside of the zipper. Very close. So this is when the zipper is rolled away. However, when I go like this, you can't even see the stitches, right? Unless you tilt the fabric like this, and then in that case, you're still only just seeing a faint color that represents the thread here. And when I turn it away, it's like this. You can see the stitches very clearly. Now I can turn it to this side, and I can zip it up. Honestly, this could have been so much better, because when I go like this, I can still see the zipper but I think this should be good. You take a look at the regular zipper, you can see the difference. You can see the regular zipper very clearly here. And the good thing is that this actually matches with this. So it really just looks like another stripe. So now I'm gonna show you how to finish this part down here. When you hold it together like this, you're gonna remove the zipper out of the way. And I'm going to pin along this section. 
Now I'm gonna take my regular presser foot and I'm gonna stitch from down here to up here and I'm gonna back stitch at the beginning and back stitch at the end. On this side of the fabric you can barely see any stitches as a matter of fact you can until you get down to here and these are stitches that I actually pulled out just like that we have sewn an invisible zipper